Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a 2D platformer in Unity. In this video, we're going to add controls to our jump. Let's get started. So in the last video, we began a discussion about what it means to jump. So one of the first things that had to be accomplished is that we had to be able to tell the game in code when our character was standing on the ground, because really this right here is just a bunch of pictures. So we had to label the ground using a layer and also to be identify, excuse me, to identify that our character was standing on the ground, we created this is grounded bool and that when our character was standing on the ground, this little check mark would populate this square to let us know he was standing on the ground. If I go over here and I lift him up, you can see over here on the side that the check is no longer in the box. And if I let go and he lands, the check populate showing that he is standing on the ground. So now we're going to add some controls so our character can actually jump. So we're going to open up our Fabio script. I'm going to go up to the top and we're going to add yet another variable. Actually, at the end of this project, there's going to be a lot of declared variables. And we're going to add a private float and it's going to be called normal gravity. And now this is not going to make much sense right now, but later on it will because we're going to be changing the gravity depending on where in the jump Fabio is. But I'll discuss that in more detail later. So we're going to have a private float. We're going to call it normal gravity. And then we're going to go down here into the start function and we're going to define our normal gravity. And we're going to say it's going to be equal to F underscore rigid body 2D dot gravity scale. So we're saying that the normal gravity is equal to the gravity scale of our rigid body, which is right here. This is Fabio's rigid body 2D. It's equal to the component. And inside this component right here is the gravity scale. If we go over here back to our game object, our player game object, and go to our rigid body 2D component, you know, we have all these physics elements right here. And one is the gravity scale, and it's already set to one. So that's what it is. So when the game starts, it's just going to be the normal default gravity that's on the um, on the rigid body component. And then at different points in his jump, it will change. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new function. We're going to just put it up here to the top. It's going to be called set jump params for set jump parameters. And we're not going to put very much here. It's going to be a little more developed later on. But right now, we're just going to put our jump speed in the Y direction. And we're going to set that equal to 15F, just like that. So later on inside this set jump parameters function, we're actually going to put other speeds and jump speeds in here so that as Mario's moving, his jump speed and his gravity is going to change based on his speed in general, but that's a little bit later. So let's go down here to our update function. And in here, we're going to put our, that our jump button held is going to be equal to input dot get button and then parentheses, quotation marks and JUMP and a semicolon at the end and make sure that this is capital J U M P. We're going to go over that in a second. It's going to be similar to the project settings that we used for horizontal, but I'll show you anyway. And we're going to say if input dot get button up parentheses, quotation marks and jump again. And at the end of this, we're going to put curly brackets because it's an if statement. And then we're going to put jump button released is going to equal to true. So the basis of this is that when we hold our button down, when we hit it, we want them to jump. And that if 
the button is released. If if get button up, meaning that it's the button, once I let go of it, it goes up. So it's get button up on jump is released, then jump button released equals true. So the reason behind that is if we go over here to the project this is based off of, and I just unpause it for a second, we're going to see that Mario, when he jumps, if I just touch the button lightly, he has a little bit of a short jump. But if I hold the button down, he's a much bigger jump right here, just like that. So that's the reason why we have these two different control options in our code here for jumping. So that if I just tap the button, then he jumps. But if I release it, I'm sorry, yeah, if I just tap the button, he has a short jump. But if I hold it down, then he jumps longer. But then, you know, and then that's why I created this bool here. Then we'll be able to identify when I release the button. So going back to this jump in quotation marks, if we go to the project right here and we go to edit, and I believe I showed you this when we did the horizontal movement, and we go to project settings, we go down here and we click input manager, just like before we have all our horizontal movements, which is based off of our A and D and our left and right mouse buttons. We also have one for jump. And so now jump is our space bar, but I can write in any other um, bar I want here. And it could also be a mouse button also if I designate it um, also. So that's how that works. And But as you could see, jump is spelled capital J-U-M-P. So I have to make sure, just like horizontal, that I spell this capital J-U-M-P just as it's written here. Otherwise, it won't identify it. So we're going to close this. Go back into our script. We're going to scroll up here. And all this stuff right here, this is all our ground movement. So we want to make sure we're only doing it if we're on the ground. So we're going to put an if statement and we're going to put is grounded and we're going to put a curly bracket, but we're going to get rid of that last one because we're going to go all the way down here. And at the end of this, we're actually going to take all this and move it. And up here, we're going to close our bracket right there. So everything in here is if we're grounded. So if we're grounded, we're doing all our ground movements. And actually what we're going to do to keep ourselves a little more organized, we're just going to put a space here and we're going to put a comment note right here. Just going to put some stars and I'm going to put horizontal movement right there and maybe just a couple more stars after it. And then at the end of that section, I'm going to put another comment and we're going to separate our vertical movement. And just a few more stars. So now under vertical movement, I'm going to put another if is grounded over here. And inside of it, I'm going to put is jumping is going to equal false. Because if I'm on the ground, I'm not jumping, so therefore it's false. Right underneath it, I'm going to put f rigid body 2d dot gravity scale, and that's going to equal normal gravity. This is kind of unnecessary right now because it's we haven't done anything but normal gravity, and we're not going to probably this video, but it's just so I have less typing later. All right, so now we'll make a little space here and we're gonna put, I'm just gonna type this out real quick and then we'll explain it if jumping or if is jumping and then I'm gonna put a bracket and then inside of that, I'm gonna put if is grounded, double and, jump button held, double and, jump button released and then a, another set of brackets and inside this set of brackets we're going to put set jump parameters parentheses with a semicolon at the end and then we're going to say f underscore rigid body 2d 
dot velocity is going to equal a new vector two and that's going to be f underscore rigid body 2d dot velocity dot x comma jump speed in the y direction at the end of that a semicolon and then underneath that we're going to say is jumping is going to equal to true semicolon jump button released is going to be equal to false so when or i'm sorry if we are not jumping if we're not which we're not we're on, if we're on the ground we're not jumping and if we are grounded and our jump button is held and our jump button released then we're going to activate our so we're going to set our jump parameters which right now is just this jump speed right here this 15 f that that 15 float right there and so we're gonna we're gonna you know run this function and then our rigid body 2d dot velocity the speed of our rigid body is going to equal a new vector 2 and that vector 2 is going to be the velocity of our rigid body in the x direction whatever it is and our jump speed y in the vertical direction then also when all this is going on is jumping is true obviously because we are jumping and jump button release equals and to fix this misspelling is going to equal to false because we already we've already held it so or actually we we have released it also so this is this is our basic jump right here because it's basically like once i release it then it's just false at that point so with that let's hit save and see how this turned out so let's go back into unity and we're going to hit play and right here uh, we are grounded and then i'm going to click the space bar and we're going to go up and see as soon as i hit it the the jump speed went to 15 and our, our jump is a little exaggerated right now because it's so high actually let's let's fix this a little bit right now let's let's fix that from 15 f let's just i don't know that's way too much let's let's just say 5.0 f hit save and let's see how this probably looks a lot better right now so that load right now all right maybe we can make it a little higher but you know you get the point we we have a control here that we can jump it's a very sloppy jump right now and in the next video we're going to add a bunch of stuff to give it all the fluidness of the jump right here because this timer was going off this whole time the game was still playing but we're going to work on it and we're going to add all these smooth jump movements here that we have in this game so you can go ahead if you'd like and just play around with this jump speed in the y direction that's going to change how the jump looks you you obviously maybe want to add a little more to it maybe 10 a little better i'm not going to play with it right now but now you have the tools you need to understand how basic jumping works and then like i said in the next video we're going to add a little bit more to this to give it a better feel and a better look so as always Thank you for watching, like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. And a big special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. See you next time.